Uh, quite an eventful evening in, in South Wales, but your second win in permanent charge of, of Accrington Stanley. What was your, your take on it? Yeah, well, obviously great to get the win. I uh, thought we started well, to be honest. Um, and then you know, Dave, obviously we've, they've scored again after, what, it was 12 minutes or something like that. I uh, thought we were controlling the game. Give them a goal, if you like, uh, at our own doing. But the young lads at the back, Brad's been outstanding for us since he came in. You know, he's, I'm asking him to play a certain way. And he's tried to find the pass, hasn't got on, but it leaves us wide open slightly. And then obviously they've scored the goal. But then I think, you know, after that, you know, um, I thought we controlled the right up to half time. Um, and we've got the equaliser, which was a great goal, wasn't it? You know, Endo has it's popped up. I think he started the game slow, but what a goal. <laughs> you know, he just does what he does. You know, I told him to start getting hold of the ball and stop flicking things on. And that's exactly what he's done. Started getting older, bought a foul for us, and it was first touch when he got older in the first moment that he had. And then to get a goal at the end of the move that we that we uh, put together was uh, was outstanding for him. It was made up. Terrific balling from Jack Nolly. He's oh. just got wonderful effort, isn't he? It's a, as you said, yeah, Ross. It's a, it's a wonderful left foot. He cuts inside and he just delivers the ball in there. And lads know it's going to come in the box. They know what Jack's about. They know as soon as he checks, it's going to come in the box. You know, Sean on the opposite side, who's had a fantastic game in and out of possession for us tonight. He's the one that will go and dribble and take people on. He'll cut inside and twist and turn. But yeah, it was a, it was a, it was an unbelievable ball and, and a great goal, as I said, for them. Yeah, Tommy Lee up front uh, again. He had a really big chance in, in the first half. The second, the, 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 goal, the, the goal that he took, though, a terrific finish from him. Oh, it was a terrific one, but you know, as Tommy's had a chance in the first half, I think Sean Morley's had a chance as well. So, you know, we could have gone in, um, you know, goals up. As I said, that slow start that we had, and then after that, the lads have responded great. They've got some sort of character in this this team spirit that the dressing room's building now. It's great, you know, it's great in there now at the minute. Uh, and we started the second half really well, as you said. It was just asked them to start on the front foot. We do work on the uh, on the kickoffs, um, you know, and, and then the ball's gone in, and you know, Tommy's just. I think it was a great second ball back in. I think it might have been Endo actually, uh, and then Tommy's chested it, swivelled, and, and what a great finish. Yeah. Could you have had more goals tonight? I mean, be, being being greedy. Yeah, we could have. Yeah, but you know, at the same time, you know, you've got to you've got to just keep working at it. You know, just, they're not going to come. I asked them to work hard. I asked them to, to start on the front foot, and that's what we do. And you know, um, they'll get the rewards in the end. And you've seen tonight with some 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 quality of, um, of the football from the lads, and and the goals were there, were, were great to watch. People on the outside might have expected this to be a quiet end of season affair. It didn't finish like that towards no, the end. It can't. You know, it can't. You know, the lads are playing for you know to. You know, as I said about Brad and Joe Gubbins and Lewis Shipley, them, them lads are, have, have been absolutely brilliant since, since they've come to the club. They've grown, they've developed, they've got better. You know, and they've got aspirations to go and get in the, the, the teams back where they are. You know, your, your Norwiches and your QPRs. So, good luck to them lads. You know, they've done a great service to us up to now, and they're not they're not going to come off. And I've asked the lads not to come off it. You know, Jack Nolan, Sean Wally. You know, for his age and he's running around the way he does. He's running around like an eighteen year old. You know, you've got Seamus in there. He's come on. He just got us that calm influence again. Gets on the ball and passes it. Ben put a shift in, you know, Dan's come on, all the lads that have come on. So, you know, Tommy would ask him to do a job up top. And, you know, you can't ask any more, so we're not gonna we're not gonna come off it. We wanna finish the season strong and I think I touched on it in the last interview, that like you wanna finish it strong to go into pre season and start the next year. Is that kind of intensity something you expect between now and the end of the campaign? Hundred percent. That's what I want. That's what I want daily. That's what I want. That's what the lads have responded to really well and, and they're giving you that so you can see the results on the pitch. Just coming to the the end of the game, there was a red card for, for Adam Lewis. We were a long way away from it. We didn't get a, a clear look at it. Is there any? Yeah, anything... no, I was myself, Ross, to be honest. But I think uh, speaking to Dan, I think he's just he's followed through and caught him. I don't know whether he's actually just caught him, um, but but Dan's got a, a, a nasty uh, mark on his leg there. So yeah, um, so I, didn't, I was too far away to see myself, but apparently that's what's happened. You've got this run of games away from home. Doncaster up next. Important to to follow it up. It is, but as I said before about Doncaster, you know, they're, on, they're on a good run of form as well. I don't know. They've gone tonight if they play tonight, I'm not too sure. But it's a good challenge for us. We want to play against teams like that, teams that are in form. So you know what you're coming up against. You know, we're looking forward to Stockport, uh, sorry, Mansfield after that mix, Stockport. So yeah, there's four, four away, it's one down and, and three to go.